yeah, everything went a bit tits up again, but we we were we'll get there, I'm sure. So the rehearsal process, you know, <laughs> um, uh, maybe we should talk about, you know, how we rehearse and when we rehearse. So we do it twice a week. Um, one on the Saturday afternoon and one on, one on the Tuesday evening. I let people freestyle it, really. They know the song, I talk to them about it, I see what they do, I see what they bring first. Sense of styles as far off as your youth. Then I make a few suggestions. And then you slide it over here, just for a bit of silly business for you to do on stage. I love it if people move naturally, because that's, that's real, that, that, that means that they're comfortable in doing it. I don't like saying, like, right now you've got to move here. Three steps, yeah, then turn yeah, left, yeah. smile at the audience, walk two places, stop, turn. Right, right. That sort of direction to me is just too controlling. And I can see it as the show goes through rehearsals that people get more comfortable and then they bring something yeah. more to the production. Yeah. Being able to see it as we've just seen on the video right here, that, that helps people see that it isn't stationary. It's not about being stagnant. It's about utilizing the whole stage and as we spoke about earlier, even the audience and down into the audience mm -hmm. area and to, to break through that. What we do very well as a company is that by the time we get up there, because we've had plenty of rehearsals, even though they've only been a couple of hours on a Tuesday night mm -hmm. or a few hours on a Saturday, is that we know it so well that we become natural with yes. the character and that yes. we're able to flow into it, feeling it, getting in the zone, feeling like they're in the moment. Oh, darling, what did you do for those pearls? What? I am a good girl. You do give a general description of, okay, this is my vision, this is what I see for that part, this is what I was thinking and then allowing people to explore that and to feel it in their soul, not just to know it technically. I close my eyes and think of him and fantasize what might have been. My dreams are endless. I am a little bit strict sometimes. Mm. I know I'm very sort of like, no, no, no. There's a particular right, reason right. you must do this and you must get this and you must understand why you're doing this. And that's purely and simply so that it is so instilled and embedded in, in, in your subconscious. But when you become the character and you put the, put the wig and the outfit on, the moment you step out on the stage, yeah, you absolutely. know it, you could do it blindfolded. Yes. Fucking whore, you're a little mouse. For me, it's putting on the wig and it's putting on the costume and the mm -hmm. makeup, almost mm -hmm. like we saw in Queer Lesque mm -hmm. with uh, the whole Lacage mm -hmm. scene where uh, Titty Lecamp's character yeah, Alvin has put on the makeup on a little bit more mascara and the, the ankle straps and the boobs and the bobbles and all of a sudden becomes this character. It's, it's Norma Desmond at the end of um, Sunset Boulevard. I'm ready for my close-up in the student mill. And literally give myself a lift. But it is a fantastic process. You know, again, again we're, we're doing it I think from a performer's point of view is um, for several reasons, uh, we, we love being on stage. We're getting to spend a few hours a week with people that actually we not only really like a lot, but we respect a lot. And it's fun. <laughs> yes, it's fun. It's a hell of a lot of fun. And I think also because we believe in your vision. And then it's showtime and the audience are so amazing and so appreciative. Of, of being part of that experience, and and, and I, I get off of that, and, and I know many of the others do as well. When I first come in with an idea and I play him a CD, <laughs> I put it on and I go, right, this is the next show, True. this is the idea, um, they all sit there and listen in silence, they're all looking in their yeah. beers, they're all looking <laughs> at each oh, other, and they're all going like, and you see them going, I don't get it. I don't get it. Usually it's, it's Mrs. Moore. She goes like, well, remember the last show, loves. Yeah. You never understood a word of that. But we all did well. In the end, we loved it. Yeah. Just go with the flow. Just right, go with right. the flow. <laughs>